Hi there, this is TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing. <clears throat> Today I've got a really excellent machine for you. The legendary Singer 201. In my opinion, about one of the best things Singer ever built. I have one of these myself. My favorite sewing machine. Here's your light switch, right over there. This is a serial number starting with AJ. That puts this machine at 1950. AJ441799. It has a later edition of someone has put a marked throat plate on here. Very handy. Marked in eighths. Also has a nice arrow that points that way to remind you that unlike most other singers, this one threads right to left and the flat side of the needle faces out. There are a few singer sewing machines that have the same setup. The Featherweight, the 301, 201 and the 101. So, yeah, 1591, I believe. Okay, this is a class 66 full rotary. See how it goes around and around? It doesn't go back and forth. Rotary is a very precise and high speed mechanism. Just listen to that, huh? machine. The, the 201 is also well known for the fact that it has a gear drive motor. There's no belt. It's also heavy. I pick it up and turn it around, but you can see in the still pictures the motor sits back here. It's geared directly to the main shaft and to the bottom of the machine. These cylindrical things here are where there are gears. All gears in this machine, all metal cast iron and machine steel. Let's thread this thing up and sew on it, huh? You can wind a bobbin a couple of different ways. You could put it on here, bring it around through the bobbin tension and up to the winder, or you can oops, put it on here and bring it through the tension and up to the winder that way. The reason you'd want to do that is so you can wind an additional bobbin while you're sewing over here. Let's just do it this way on top. Now, I already did wind a bobbin earlier, but <clears throat> to do that, you put it on here, turn the uh, center wheel back on, like on all Singer machines, hand wheel turns towards you. So you'd be winding the bobbin there, and it would click off when it was done. Tighten that back up. Now, it's real easy to put bobbins in in a 201 because there's no bobbin case to mess with. It's just drop in. Hold the bobbin like this with the thread coming off in your left hand. Stick it in there. Lead it back through that little groove. Lay it across like that. Close the slide plate. Top threading is really simple right through the two tension discs, check spring, and let's bring the take up lever like that. And here, and then as the arrow reminds us, we thread from right to left on this guy. Let me turn into that thread. The uh, 201 model was introduced, I believe, in 19... 38 and was produced clear up until the 60s when zigzag machines sort of took over. The 201 is a straight stitch only, forward and reverse. This is just a, a piece of lightweight shirting here. Let's fold that over, make a couple layers. Press your foot, hold your threads. And let's start sewing. Let's make a little shorter stitch on this lightweight fabric. Reverse. Forward. light is right here on the front. I think that's a little more useful than on the back. I don't know. 
Seems like it lights this up a little better. Look here, we've got four layers of denim. Let's give that a go. Longer stitch length for denim. Not a problem. Pivot around. Yeah, look at that stitch. Always make sure you use good quality thread and needles with your sewing machine. It doesn't make any sense to spend good money on a sewing machine and then cheap out on the little accessories. Let's try this piece of bonded garment leather that I demo with sometimes. It's pretty burly. Just walk off the denim right onto that. What a stitch, huh? The needles come in sizes from 9 for really sheer fabric clear up to 18, which is you'd probably want to use an 18 leather needle on this. Leather needle has a different point, but I find the 201 to be just a completely awesome machine for everything from heirloom lightweight sewing to heavy duty stuff. It's really quiet and smooth. It's heavy. Should probably be put it in a cabinet. I'm going to put up a video today that shows you exactly how to put a sewing machine in a cabinet, so don't worry. Singer 201, there it is. A Cadillac of sewing machines. This one, the finish, it's, it's spent around. This machine was at Oregon State College for a while, and the finish has got a lot of dings and chips in it, but it's not rusty. Uh, if it was a guitar, it would be what I call a playa. <laughs> it's been to a few gigs. Runs really smooth, really well. You can own this wonderful, amazing, precision piece of Singer history from us at Stagecoach Road Sewing. Contact us and we'll show you how.